guys, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. I am Moose78, and today just going to get a little bit of a news update out there for you guys. And just a few things to go over today, and we'll just jump right into it. Recently, SES announced the Steering Creations Pack, and what this pack is, is just consists of a bunch of custom steering wheels, and they teamed up with a company named Steering Creations to bring this to us, and I... Uh, Typically, I'm kind of skeptical with stuff like this, but I found this one interesting for a couple different reasons. One reason is there's never really been a whole lot of customization when it comes to the steering wheels. And two, it's promising that they're working with an actual company outside of the truck developers to start bringing in, you know, custom parts. So if you've not already checked this out, I will put a link in the description to the blog post on how you can uh, get this for free. They're looking to give, I believe, 30,000 keys away for this, so... I got mine, I've checked it a little bit, and uh, it's kind of nice. There's just a wide variety of custom different steering wheels ranging from, you know, kind of kind of a basic wheel to all the way, all the way to a steering wheel with two uh, six shooters on it, which is kind of unique, I guess. You know, as always with these cosmetic DLC packs, mileage is gonna vary, but uh, I would recommend checking this one out. I think it's uh, kind of cool and uh, certainly worth a look. And moving on, as I'm sure most of you guys are aware, 1.4 is live on Steam. And shortly after that went live, they released a hot fix to address some performance issues. One thing that seemed to cause an issue and has caused an issue for quite a few people is the latest GeForce Experience update. One thing I have to be aware of with that update is by default, it is going to optimize all of the installed games that it finds, meaning it's going to put all the settings to the highest settings possible. So after everyone updated to that, they noticed that they were getting considerably less performance than they were before, and that's why, because GeForce Experience was cranking all the settings up to Ultra. There is a box with uh, in the settings on that software that you can uncheck that, so I would highly advise doing that. But one thing SES fixed for the 1.4 update was people having crashes that were related to in-cabin physics. And I think it was specifically... Uh, in cabin physics slash enabled toys but it seems like they went back and adjusted the code for that and that should be fixed now but it was definitely good to see him kind of hop on that and get that fixed uh, pretty much right away and like i said uh, the 1.4 update is live went live back on september 7th so just a little over a week ago and some of the things uh in that they uh, did some things to fix some of the code. Uh, cruise control is not disabled by the throttle anymore, which is really nice. You can now set your preferred job length in the options menu. There's also an option to split shifting input. And of course, now we have the uh, steering knobs, or as they're affectionately called, the suicide knobs. And the steering wheels are now a separate model, which is kind of nice if you're uh, looking to mod some steering wheels and stuff like that. And they have changed uh, the trailer looks to paint job, so that does affect modding a little bit. And uh, I'll link their modding wiki down in the description below as well, so you guys can read up on that a little bit more. And the last thing to touch on today is the Rescale project. Back on September 5th, they released some screenshots, and it kind of sounds like uh, they're a little bit ahead of schedule. They really didn't come out and say that. They just said that they are finishing work faster than they initially anticipated. They did say overall that they're pretty far along in the project, but there are still a few areas they're working on, so don't get too excited yet. They did say that they are still several weeks away before they can start doing internal testing, which that could be anywhere from three to any number of weeks, I guess, so we'll just keep an eye out for that, but uh, pretty promising from what the screenshots are showing. Going back to the first set of screenshots they posted, and uh, with this set of screenshots, I really do like what they're doing with the rest areas. They look a lot more realistic, a lot more accurate, so that's pretty promising. And I really like how the road system, it looks like it's coming together, and it does seem like they are going to be going back and reworking some of the cities, as they do have a screenshot that has Oxnard's updated look. So overall, the Rescale project still looks very promising. Can't wait till we finally get our hands on that. And I'm still uh, pretty curious as to what is in store as we get closer to the rescale being uh, released. You know, what's in store for future maps, future trucks? They've not really said anything about that for quite some time now. I'm sure they've been more than busy with uh, getting the rescale project done. But I'm just really curious to see what all that's going to entail when it is released. Is it just going to be the three states and that's it? Or are we going to get an additional state, maybe a couple states? 
maybe some more trucks. Really curious to see uh, what they have up their sleeve. But guys, that's all I have for today. Just a quick news update. Uh, haven't done one for a couple weeks, so I wanted to get one out there and kind of get everyone caught up on the news. I'm sure most of you guys have uh, heard all this stuff, but uh, still wanted to get it out there because, like I said before, these types of videos seem to perform pretty well. Seems like you guys like them and appreciate them. So that is all for today. If you like today's video, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, this is the next video. Stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, follow the link down in the video description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, then be sure to check out my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link also down in the video description. And lastly, I upload three days a week, so be sure to check down below for my various content playlists for any videos you may have missed. Until the next video, stay safe out there, take care, and we'll be seeing you.